Uh, the Middle Eastern flatbread wrap. A lifesaver for those of us who still enjoy the late night festivities. Usually consumed between the hours of 2 to 3 a.m. It provides one with much needed nutrients for the long journey home. Our version will however be far healthier and is vegetarian friendly, trading the usual kebab meats for a simple cheats falafel. What is falafel you ask? Falafel is the fast food of the Middle East. Comprising mainly of chickpeas, it is fried to form the most amazing golden nuggets. I assure you it beats any western fast food made at 3am in the morning. To house the falafel, we will also be making homemade garlic flatbreads. To add structural integrity and flavour, we will serve the wraps with an assortment of vegetables. And finally, the glue will be a refreshing tzatziki sauce. Now, on to the recipe. Traditionally made with dried chickpeas, this version is for those of us who are pressed for time. Add one tin of drained chickpeas to a blender. Next, one medium diced onion. As much or as little minced garlic as you desire. We use one teaspoon. Two teaspoons of parsley. Ideally fresh, but the dried stuff works fine as well. One teaspoon of dried coriander. Another one teaspoon of cumin. Salt and pepper to taste. Finally, two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. This binds the mixture and will make the frying process 400 million times easier. Time for the blend. It's worth noting that you can absolutely do this without a food processor. Simply grind and mash all of the ingredients in a bowl. So long as the final product resembles a thick hummus, you're good to go. Once smooth, Grab a spoon and taste. For all intent and purposes, it's a cheats hummus. And for that matter, add some tahini or peanut butter and a squeeze of lemon and you're there. Once smooth, place in the fridge until ready to fry. Normally we would just simply spoon the mixture directly from the processor into the pan. However, we wanted to show you quickly how to place them in the pan prior to the extravaganza that will follow. Simply spoon table tennis sized blobs directly into the pan and leave. If you attempt to flip early, you'll end up with fried hummus. Again, not the worst result in the world. However, not a beautiful golden brown falafel nugget either. Now for the easy garlic flatbreads. Into a large mixing bowl, add one cup of all purpose flour, a good pinch of salt, three quarters of a cup of milk, you can use almond milk for our vegan friends. As much, again, or as little minced garlic as you desire. We used about one teaspoon. Once all the ingredients have been added, start mixing to form a ragged dough. Flour a large work surface, ideally not your nice kitchen table, sorry wife, and place the dough on a floured surface. Knead for five minutes. It will be very sticky to start with. Hold your line, and eventually the dough will become smooth and significantly less sticky. Once the dough starts to play ball, roll it over any remaining flour to make clean up a breeze. Place in a lightly oiled bowl, cover with cling film, and then rest for 30 minutes at room temperature. Preparing the tzatziki sauce is our final mise en place for the day, and involves a mandolin and ideally all five of your fingers. We simply do not recommend using a mandolin in this fashion. Place it down on the bowl for support. Then shred one small English cucumber into a bowl. Add one cup of Greek yogurt. A squeeze of half a lemon. Ideally in the bowl and not all over your table or pants. And finally, salt and pepper to taste. Again, taste, taste, taste. It's amazing how even great ingredients can taste bland when out of the season. Mix the ingredients until well incorporated. This sauce is so refreshing, healthy, and really brightens up the wraps. It also works brilliantly alongside a hummus tasting board. Once again, slow motion technology and viscous sauce footage makes us happy. We hope it does for you too. 
Now for the fry. Add a good splash of neutral oil into a pan over medium heat. Spoon dollops of falafel mixture in and leave. Again, if you don't allow the base to form, when it comes to flipping, you'll end up with sautéed hummus. See the exhibit on your far left. All is not lost however, and if you're lucky, they can be reformed. After three minutes, using a somewhat aggressive spatula maneuver, flip and fry for another two to three minutes, or until the falafel is golden brown and structurally solid. Remove onto a plate and season generously with salt. While the falafel is resting, let's make our garlic flatbread. Remove the dough and on a floured work surface, roll it out, aiming for about one eighth of an inch. A circular shape is the ideal, however, so long as the bread can be folded, you're good to go. We actually think it looks better with uneven corners, a more homemade vibe. In a dry pan over medium heat, place the flat bread and cook for three to four minutes each side. The leoparding or dark spots will add beautiful flavor. Now, onto the construction phase. On one side of the flatbread, add your falafel nuggets, shredded lettuce, not too much, tomato, and diced white onion. Then, a generous lashing of tzatziki sauce. Before the flatbread cools too much, roll into a wrap. Wrap the base in tinfoil for that authentic kebab shop look. More importantly, this will hold any drippings that always seem to target your new pants or shirt. As always, thanks so much for watching and your continued support. If you have enjoyed this one, leave us a like, or even consider subscribing for more content. Enjoy.